Whether you've just bought yourself a new graphics card or you've been enjoying your PC for years, congratulations and welcome to the PC gaming community. Chances are though, you may be sitting on untapped gaming potential that you can unlock to get more performance in games, or you're like me when you have a graphics card that just runs way too loud. I mean, listen to that. I was rather stumped when Zotac sent out their 2080 Ti amp because from the moment I started using it, I just couldn't believe how loud it was. Not because it was deafening, but because under load, it was noticeably more audible than Nvidia's Founders Edition, which is really puzzling, bearing in mind that it has a better cooling solution and should run cooler and quieter. So, like many cards, this is just one that is sitting on untapped potential, and with a little bit of tuning, we can actually get this to run much quieter and a fair bit faster. The process is incredibly simple and it should only take you a couple of minutes. Now after looking at my GPU temperature in Corsair's IQ, it was apparent that the graphics card fans were running faster and louder than they needed to, as the graphics card was maxing out at roughly 60 degrees Celsius. Now I'm actually happy to let my graphics cards reach the low 80s, so I'm able to adjust the fan speed in software to spin a little bit slower and then reduce the amount of noise it will make under load. Now there's quite a few different bits of software you can use to achieve this, with MSI Afterburner and EVGA Precision both being very popular options, but here I'm using ASUS's GPU Tweak 2. In the software you can view the card statistics, as well as make adjustments to the card performance. There are presets you can use for sort of one-touch performance tweaks, but really you're going to want to create your own profile for complete customization. In my profile, all I need to do is find the fan speed option, and then alter the curve to change the threshold that the fan speed will increase. This means that when the card hits 70 degrees, the fans won't spin up quite as much as they did before. And this does mean that the card will run hotter, but as long as your temperatures don't fly past 80 degrees, then you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Now because everyone's PC is different, the amount of noticeable change that you will see will vary depending on your individual configuration. And obviously the better the cooling solution on your graphics card, well, the quieter your PC can be. On this subject, there's also a way to increase our FPS, because instead of tuning our card for lower noise, we can actually adjust it for extra performance. Once again, the process is very simple. All we need to do is overclock the card to increase its speed. Just be aware that this will make your card run hotter and louder, and depending on the GPU you have and the settings you use, it may void your warranty, lower your graphics card life expectancy, and in some cases cause damage to your hardware. So do check the fine print, and obviously do so at your own risk. All I needed to do was adjust a series of sliders, with an increase to the power limit, GPU clock, and memory clock. Increasing the GPU clock speed will allow us to process more frames per second, while upping the GPU memory speed will make sure the card can actually hold and process all of this information. It's crucial to increase the sliders very slowly, as after all we are overclocking the card, which can cause instability, artifacting and crashes. Here I've added an extra 100 MHz to the boost clock, and an extra 90 MHz to the memory, which in my very limited testing, an emphasis on the limited, it seems stable enough, but if I see any crashes or artifacting, I'll be sure to push this back down to something that works a little bit more stably. The end result really is something to cheer about, as it saw me gain around about 5-7% to extra performance at 4K, while having significantly lower noise levels than the out-of-the-box configuration. The big catch here is that we do see a rise in temperature of 15 degrees, but maxing out at around about 75-76 degrees Celsius, well, I am not worried in the slightest. Now, I will definitely say that this is very much a best case scenario, as for whatever reason, I don't think that this graphics card was really tuned that well in the first place. I'm gonna blame this on maybe an early BIOS, maybe it's just this review card, maybe someone's tweaked it um, before I received it, because I was not the first person to use this. Not entirely sure, but the point is that you can see that graphics cards can be tuned better to your individual environment, depending on the case you have, your cooling, and obviously how loud you're willing to have your PC run. You can either get more performance, you can get it running quieter, or like me, you can sort of try and blend the two together uh, for the best of both worlds. But do... Builders next door. So it's something that you can definitely consider experimenting with, even if it is just to make your PC that little bit quieter. Let me know your results down below, and whether you prefer GPU Tweak, Precision X, or Afterburner. 
and as always I will leave links to everything featured down in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video though, please hit the like button if you have. Saved that one didn't I? Um, if you've enjoyed this video and get subscribed because it really helps out. A massive thank you to Asus RG for sponsoring the channel and to Zotac for loaning out this card as always. But a massive thank you to you guys for actually watching. You're the guys that make this all possible. I am thankful to you. Go watch another video if you've enjoyed it. And I will go and yell at some builders. Thank you. See you in the next one.